Welcome back to another video. New setup today. Got the old OBS studio running. I think it's recording. Yeah, it looks like it's recording. Um, I had some audio issues at the start, but I think I've, I think I've resolved them. I've, I found a workaround. So yeah, we're going to be playing some Icewind Dale. Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition. We're actually playing on the PS4, so a lot of people would say not the most optimal way to play it. But um, yeah, I don't care <laughs> because it's easy for me to record this way to be quite honest um yeah this version of icewind dale well the enhanced edition it has the heart of winter there as well so we'll i'm gonna be looking to do that dlc as well but that's within the main game i think you have to be about level nine to tackle that um today really we're just gonna focus on um making the party really and just so you know the furthest i've actually got in this game is not very far i think i got to like dragon's eye Oh, well, that's kind of far, I guess. Um, but yeah, I've never completed it. Uh, more because I've just not really put the time in. So, we're going to focus on creating the party first. So this is going to be a main character. Um, to be honest, I don't really know how, what kind of party I'm going to create. So I'm just going to wing it as I go along. So that's going to be this video, creating the party. And then after that, I'll, I'll chop it into different videos uh, as I go along. Um, I'm currently playing Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition at the moment. I'm actually playing that on the PC though. Um, I've actually completed that now. I'm, I'm on Siege of Dragon Spear. Then I'll go into Baldur's Gate 2, which I completed when I was a kid. Um, and then Throne of Baal after that. And then hopefully, eventually, Baldur's Gate 3 will come out on the consoles. And I'll give that a crack because, yeah, it'll probably melt my PC if uh, I try doing it on there. So, oh, I picked a female by accident. I don't even know the male female sign, jeez. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Ugh. <coughs> <coughs> Woo! <coughs> Excuse me. Hair fever season. Um, right, so main character. I was thinking a bard, to be honest, or like a blade. I thought that'd be interesting. But no, yeah, actually, as a main, we're going to go Fighter Thief, I think. I've got a bit of a thing for Fighter Thiefs at the moment, so. I think every every party member is going to be interesting. I'm going to try and make it something that I, I, I want to kind of experiment it or play with it, because sometimes you can kind of get stuck into playing only certain classes, but I quite like being a halfling class. Fighter Thief, perfect. Um, actually, do we want to be a Fighter Thief? Might just change my mind there. I quite like the idea of a swashbuckler, but I hate being a thief and not being able to backstab. I think that sucks absolute balls. Um, hmm. Yeah. No, let's let's be a bard. The problem with when I played on this is one of the issues of playing on console really. When I played on uh, the the PC, I had the EE Keeper mod where you can kind of edit the character a little bit, um, and I just did it like aesthetically. So I was a fighter thief, but I looked like a thief, and I really liked I really like that. Yeah. But I'll end up looking like a fighter halfling, which I don't really want to, if I'm being honest. So, I could be a human fighter thief. Be something a bit different, wouldn't it? Could be a dwarf fighter thief. I'm thinking maybe have a dwarven defender in here. I say that now, but uh, yeah. So many ideas. Let's just see what we, we come out with. The main character for me is... Um, I'm going to call it the main character, they're all, you don't have like recoupable characters in this game, you just make them all individually, so I guess everyone in a, in a certain sense is a, is a main character. Um, see he looks too short to be a human. He could be a human I guess, just, nah like the, the proportions aren't there are they? Um, I mean what choice do we get as a norm?
Hmm. You know what's annoying? It's like, oh, fighter illusionist. Well, it's like, well, hold on a minute. Then I'm just going to look like... I'll look like the fighter, but then when I put a cloak on, or a robe, this is why EE Keep is good. Because my dominant appearance is that of the fighter, it just like changes a bit of the colour on my clothes. It doesn't actually show the robe, which freaking sucks. So... Which is weird because like I'm sure like a cleric illusionist the robe show. I think they do anyway, I might I might be wrong about that. I mean I could be like an assassin or something, but the thing is that in this game as well, I think I think blood blood weapons are quite oh bloody hell I'm not a lot of them. Blood weapons are quite dominant. So as in like you fight like a lot of undead in this game. Which is, I think they have like 50% resistance to slashing damage, so you're going to want to be proficient with some kind of a blunt weapon. Um, I mean a sling would be, I suppose if you had a thief you could use a sling or something that would be useful. That would be pretty effective against undead. Decisions, decisions. I knew I'd do this. I'd spend a lot of my time just just thinking. Probably should have thought this through beforehand. Um, hmm. No, we're gonna be we're gonna be some form of thief. We could just be like a subclass of that, or a, a user class kit, should we say? I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Swashbuckler. See, they've got the really good bonuses, but the whole may not backstab is absolute shite. It takes a lot of the fun out of it. Um, let's see, we've got plus one bonus to armor class at first level, plus an additional plus one bonus every five levels. So that that would only be, I think you get to about level 15 by the end of this game, so that would only be like plus three bonus to AC. Um, you can specialise and put three slots into your weapon style. Yeah. You plus one to hit and damage roll every five levels, that's alright. But... Again, it just, it just doesn't. Yeah, I don't know. Bounty Hunters are alright, they just get like limited points. They are basically just better traps, but can only distribute 20 skill points per level among feeding skills. So you just just more focus on what your skills are. Assassins can only do fifteen, I think. It's really low, um, but they're very very good at the uh, at the backstab. So, and then Shadow Dancer, yeah, again, very limited points you can allocate, but you can hide in plain sight, which is pretty powerful. Um, plus, the, yeah, the Shadow Step's pretty good as well. Plus one saving flow is pretty good though as well. Uh, yeah, minus backstab multiplier makes sense. So you only really get your multiplier after level 4. So yeah, they are kind of like hampered in, in the earlier game. Um, I wonder though... See, gnomes, gnomes tend to only be illusions, don't they? What, what are options of a dwarf? You got a few. I mean, fighter has a few subclasses. To be fair, hmm. Oh, shall we just do it? Shall we just go with a fighter thief? Fighter Thief, Alignment, uh, True Neutral. Oh, we could go for like a Fighter Druid. Nah.
you need to re-roll that. That sucks. If I get anything in the 90s, I'm taking it. Or even like if I get like 89, I'll take it. Oh, 88. Probably would have took that to be fair. Come on. Come on. It's a shame you can't, if you store a roll, I don't think it goes over to your next character. That would be pretty useful as well. Especially since people are clearly going to do this. I mean, wow, if you always just go with your first roll, you, you're going to end up with some really shitty party members. Not that stats for everything, I suppose, but they definitely help. 85, I wonder if we can make that work. We don't really need a lot of wisdom. We don't really need a lot of intelligence. We definitely need strength. Oh, we can only go up to 17 anyway. Ah, oh, because we're half of course. But that's fine, I think there's, we've got spells that can boost their strength. Not the constitution up to 16. In fact, the guy doesn't, he doesn't even need a lot of charisma, he doesn't really need any wisdom. So if you can get 18 out of that, you get 19 out of that, we still have a point left, which we've just put in intelligence. Yeah, so 85 was respectable there. Right, so we've got four slots now. I know that... Hmm... He's a fight thief, isn't he? So we need some skill with the old short sword. In fact, well, let me put three slots in two weapon style. I'm, I'm tempted to. Hmm. No. I wonder if we get to do that later on, though. So yeah, we're going to want short sword. Um, it's making good of a flail as well. I'm just thinking he's going to have to mash some undead later, so that will come in handy. Two, two weapon style. So yeah, not much in the way of thrown weapons, but I'm thinking he's going to be hiding in shadows a lot and up close and personal, so it's not too bad. Um, so we want some good points to move silently. Um, or more importantly, hide in shadows. Put them both at 50. Um, Yeah, how do you show us? Let's have him uh, as a trap setter as he, as he levels up. Hell pick pl plus three, what does that mean? Why does it say hell pick plus three there? No, no, it's that before. Uh, this is our guy. Uh, I don't really care about his colours, we can edit them later. It took us long enough to make him. Here I come. Gods grant me strength. You'll soon sleep with the Dobby, the leader for now. Yeah, let's give him that yes. voice. Uh, and we'll call him... Stabby. <laughs> so Stabby. I know I put him in the main... I, I was talking about the main slot. I'm... As I was creating that, I just thought, do you know what, I'm just going to create loads of characters I like, and it doesn't really matter who's the leader. In fact, the leader's just going to be the guy with most charisma. So, so we've got Stabby. Um, we're going to make we're going to make another male. We're going to make a paladin. This should be quite an easy one to make, though. We'll just use that portrait. 
Um, human. We will need a good roll for this guy, though. Paladin. And I, I'm already thinking Cavalier. Undead Hunter would be good, because he would just absolutely mince the undead. But Cavalier's got some good resistances. Uh, immune to charm, fear, poison, and morale failure. 20% resistance to fire and acid. Um, can't use ranged weapons, so that's kind of limiting us again a little bit there. But, ah, who cares? Um, well, I care. I will care later. Oh, 86! We need more than, we need more than 86 off for Paladin. Come on, 88 or more. And I'll be happy with it. Oh, get in. Right. Um Dexterity would be nice, but let's We don't really need a lot of intelligence, do we? And we don't need massive wisdom. Um Let's keep him at 14. Slower his intelligence. But his strength, his strength needs to be 18. Uh, Dexterity is not that big of a deal. Charisma is useful. Um, Constitution's useful. Yeah, should we put his Dexterity up? Okay, this guy's a beast. I think this guy's going to be my leader. Um, we definitely want him Longsword. How many points can he put two weapon style? Loving this two weapon style at the moment. Yeah, so long swords and should we go bastard sword? Yeah, let's go bastard sword as well. Uh, appearance, yeah, that'll do. We need like a leader sounding male dude. Here I come. And the hell's co Gods grant me strength. I would be honored. Oh, the demons of sleep hound me. We squander what little time we have standing here. You'll soon sleep with it. Here I like that. It just doesn't. And the hell's come. I like number two. It just doesn't really. Strength. When I look at the portrait, it doesn't look like him saying like that. Oh, that'll do. Perfect. Uh, let's call him Keldorn. Who knows where I got that name from? Um, right, so we make a female now. Let's spread out the balance a little bit. So we've got we got Stabby, Stabby the Hiding Shadows style thief. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna have another thief for like detecting traps and lock picking and all that jazz. Um, I could have a pure thief, couldn't I? And he could be like. No, actually, no. I probably won't do that. Let's let's leave Stabby as our thief. Um, I might have a bard actually. I might have like a female, female blade. That would be pretty interesting. No, no, no. Let's have let's have a female fighter druid in honor of uh, Jahira. Oh, well, that's quite a good one. I could make a like a half elf druid maybe. Oh, that's a good one for a fighter druid, though, isn't it? Oh, they're all good for fire druids. I quite like that one actually. Race, half elf. Yeah, that's pretty good. Class. Um, fighter druid. I think there's some pretty decent druid spells available, so. Um, 87 will take that, nice. Um, she looks like she'd be quite dexterous, so let's go with that. Yes, the druids, the druids got charisma apparently. I, I, I kind of want to give her 18 dexterity. Hmm. Just for the armor value, really. But I could make her. We'll make her like a arranged, arranged character. So, I mean, I could probably lower the, the wisdom a bit, and just give her more strength or constitution. So 
I don't think I can go any higher with that, no. Let's do that. Not perfect stat line, but yeah, whatever. So let's make a good with ranged weapons. Oh, actually, I want to make a good with quarter staff. Um. Oh, can she not use a bow? I guess she can't use a bow because she's a druid. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. This this party is very limited for ranged so far. Um. Hmm. Oh dear. This might have been a mistake. Let's make a sword and shield style. <laughs> Wacky Zashi, Ninja Soul, Skimitar, Club, and Sling. So she's got some choices and she can double as arranged. I just feel like I put so many points into. I put so many points into dexterity. Uh, plus one attack rolls and inflicts two four points damage. Clubs and shot roll plus one to damage because you strength pushes, which is this point. Uh, this level of spells are kind of sucky. Let's change her stat line a little bit. I don't think druids can wear better than level, can they? Do you know what? Sack it. Let's go. Let's go pure druid. I think that would be more interested. A shapeshifter would be interested. Hmm. And eventually it would be turned into a greater werewolf. Avengers 6 mage spells added to the repertoire. Grammatical web lightning bolt. Improved invisibility. Chaos, chain lightning. And a shape shift to soul spider. Soul spider, baby wyvern. And a fire salamander. May not wear armor heavier than leather because minus 2 penalty to strength constitution. Hmm. I feel like someone's spirit animal would be crap. And the miners can't use ship shape shift. Hmm. Let's go with let's go with shape shifter. Because what we can do is, um, for the beginning of the game, while she's got sucky spells, we can just use her as a werewolf, as a, just another tank. So that might actually be interesting. Well, I've got to bloody re-roll this bollocks now, which is a little frustrating. 84. I mean, we don't even need amazing stats, really, do we? Other than, I would say, we're going to need high dexterity. Don't really need that intelligence. Yeah, that'll be fine. She's just an absolute charisma machine. That can shape shift. Shape shift. Shape shift. So, I think... I think darts and sling might be the way to go because any melee is just going to be as the werewolf, unless you get caught in a very difficult situation. Did did we have high dexterity though? I didn't even check what my dexterity was. Oh yeah, we did. We did. Okay. Yeah, let's make make a good with uh, darts and proficient with. 
quarter stuff. Why not? Um, spells, Sun Scorch is actually pretty useful against Undead. Um, Armor of Faith. First level resistance by me. Yeah, okay. Later on, that's actually pretty useful, but yeah, at the moment, I'm not bothered about Shilliger. Might have two Sun Scorches and a protection from evil. Appearance, don't really matter, you're gonna be a werewolf all the time. <laughs> uh female. You would do well to fear a woman's wrath. Oh, I was wondering what how meant. It must be heart of winter. Queen for a day, is it? Whatever we have to do, it'll Are we going to stand here for the whole year? Your time draws near. I will do my best if I have to take another step, my That'll do. Uh and we'll call her. Burn. Because <laughs> she's a druid. Okay. Right, so we've got a druid, we've got a paladin, we've got a fighter thief. Um, we definitely need a mage in there, and we definitely need a cleric in there. But what if we had a cleric mage? Let's have a female cleric mage. I just need to find a suitable portrait. The females have the way better portraits. Although I feel like there's less. I might just be imagining that though. Um, that doesn't look like a cleric mage. <laughs> it could be, I suppose. That's very more barbarian-ish though. That could be a cleric mage. That could be. Yeah, let's go with that. We'll make her uh Can you be a gnome cleric mage? A oh, cleric illusionist that will be. Uh alignment. No, she's not bothered true neutral. I do like the true neutral. No wait, 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 wait. No, I don't like the true neutral. Um Yeah, true neutral characters are extremely rare. True neutrals do their best to avoid siding with the forces of No, that's that's not me. I was thinking more like lawful not lawful evil. Yeah, lawful evil. I'm gonna say she's lawful evil. What alignment did I make? Um, the thief and everything. I can't even remember. I know the paladin would have been lawful good. I've probably gone bloody too neutral with mana. Don't matter. It don't matter. Let's just try and pick. Um, more, I don't know, law friendly alignments going forwards. But we don't need strength there, do we? So I'm not really asked about strength 9. Um, I'm pretty sure there's spells that can just put you up to strength 18 anyway. If we really wanted to do that, but I, I doubt we will. Um, Dexterity is going to be useful there. Let's go 18 for that. And we need higher wisdom and intelligence. So, do you know what? Your charisma can. Why can she be only 17 wisdom? Must be a gnome thing. Oh well. Skills. Uh, proficiency slots. Well. Sling's definitely going to be one that's needed. Um, and then maybe like a Warhammer. And then. Oh. Spells remaining zero, okay. Um, I don't think we're going to need Identify, to be quite honest. If Not if I'm planning to put a Bard in the party, which I kind of am plan planning to do. Um, sleep would be very useful, although absolutely pants against Undead, but I guess we can change it later on. Um, Reflected image is crap, let's just avoid enemies in general. Find familiar, that'll be useful. Expedious retreat, this is a new one. Because some of these spells aren't in uh, Baldur's Gate, so. This spell doubles the caster's normal speed for a short period of time, usually long enough to escape. 
Open movement alter an effect such as haste and slow cannot affect the caster while this spell is in effect. While six speeds retreats active, the caster cannot attack cast spells or use it. That sucks. Um, oh, what's armor? It means the spell was a crit before. Yeah, we'll, we'll mod that for him. That's useful. Um, so yeah, I'll do. Eh, I picked. Select at least one illusion spell. Oh, okay. Damn. Oh, I guess we'll get rid of armor then. And we'll, we will go with reflective image, since we have to. Yeah, I want that. I want that. And I want that. My cat of all three. Hmm. Oh, select at least one illusion spell. <laughs> Right, we'll wait, we'll wait till we level up to find familiar, maybe. No, let's go with it straight away. Because we can equip a sling or something. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, so annoying! I just know how good sleep is at low levels. Like, it's literally going to be a game changer. We'll do fine for the layer. Um, hmm. Sanctuary is going to be useful early on. Remove fear is going to be useful early on. We already have a protection from evil already. Um, I'm torn between bless and cure light wounds, but we can change that around later on as we need to. We need some kind of healing spell. Um, that's fine for her. Your time draws near. You would do well to fear a- Let's spill some blood. My aim shall be true. If you wish for my leadership, let me find some place to set a stout sword and- Let me at him. Very well. I fear I must stop and rest for- Well, the female mage. Uh, oh, what should we call her? Um, Betty. Why not? Right, so we've got Stabby. <laughs> <laughs> Stabby Betty, Keldon of Burn. Um, so yeah, Fighter Thief, Paladin, Mage Cleric, Druid. Wow, this is a very versatile party. Um, now I think we're going to put our, uh, our Bard in there. And he's going to be a Blade. I might just do this guy, he doesn't really look like a bard, I guess you could argue he was a blade maybe. Human, class, bard, done, blade, um, alignment, he's gonna be... Neutral good, characters believe that a balance of forces is important, but the concerns of war and chaos do not moderate the need for good. The vs. versus vast contains many creatures. Striving for different goals is determined pursuit of the good will not upset the balance. And they even maintain it. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, I had a good roll there, actually, 87. Oh, thank you. Got it back. Um, why is charisma so important to the uh, oh, We'll put it up there anyway. He, he needs. High dexterity. He, he needs intelligence to scribe scrolls, but he doesn't really need anything above 14, if I remember correctly. He could do with an additional strength point, though. Hmm. See if I rolled 88, I could have put that up to 14. Which would have been perfect. Unless I put his wisdom down to 9. Yeah, that'll do. Why not? Oof. Ouch. Wisdom 9.
Um, he's going to be good with... Hmm. I've already got a guy with good with long swords, haven't I? So... He only gets two slots. He's a blade, he only gets two slots. He's taking the piss. I think you just go for bloody two-handed sword. Let me just check his class details. Bard. Blade. Three slots and two weapon style. May use offensive spin and defensive spin. Okay. Maybe that's not the best. Uh, Scald, plus one hit and damage roll. Scald's song has the following effect. It's Grant Sowers, plus even a hit and damage roll. No, 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 no. Did it grant size plus four points plus four hit damage rolls? No, no, no. Only has one quarter of the normal pickpocket score. Cannot play the ballad of three years. Cannot. Da, 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 da. So his song basically just boosts us in combat, and he has plus one to hit and damage rolls. Let's go for a scald. Um, something different, isn't it? In fact, if we're going to do that. Let's pick a different portrait for him. Yeah, I'll do. <laughs> Human class. I've never played it with a scout before, so that's actually kind of interesting. <laughs> so what did we roll last time? 87. If we can do better than that, that'd be pretty good. But well, now we definitely need high dexterity. There we go, that'll do. Just store that. Um, we're not having negative constitution, that's stupid. Always oh, one off max charisma. Hang on, I'm going to be using a. I'm using a bow anyway. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking short bow. I'm thinking short bow. Short bow. Dagger. Yeah, that'll do. Need like a dodgy sounding male. Um. <laughs> well, looks like I'm gonna attack. Yes, uh, we must halt. Let us continue. Yeah, that'll do. I don't think I've ever used that voice before. Um. Uh, Eddie. Uh, okay. Right, so we've got Fighter Thief, Paladin, Fighter Thief, Paladin, Shape Changing Druid, Mage Cleric, Eddie, <laughs> Eddie the Scald, who's ranged? Like, who's ranged in this party? There's just Eddie. Eddie's the only ranged character. So I'd, I'd be tempted. I'm tempted just to throw in Oh I feel like Betty needs a higher charisma as well actually thinking about it. Or Eternal Dead is gonna be pants. But you know what it is it is what it is. Um I mean I could just throw it for an archer in there, couldn't I? Like a female archer or something. Uh, let's see what classes we've got available to us. I mean, that's quite a good portrait for a female archer. Um, let's see what classes we've got available to us. Jog my memory. Because if we're missing something, I mean, I know we've not got, we've not got a pure mage, we've not got a pure cleric, 
So these are things we're missing. Pure mage, pure cleric, you could argue pure fighter. I don't really feel like we need a pure fighter. Especially since we've got a paladin. And the fighter thief can hold the front line. Plus we've got the shapeshifter. We're alright for fighters. Um, Eddie can provide a little bit of ranged. I mean I could really just like go with something a bit off the wall really. I don't want to do a ranger, I just think they're crap. <laughs> we, we, yeah. I could do Dwarven Defender. I feel like we kind of need another caster though. How many small people have we got as well? Fight if he's a small guy. Uh, Cleric Mage is small. Alright, I've not got too many stunties now. It's fine. Um, I could go for a Sorcerer, but I just feel like it's, it's not something I've used a lot. And if I pick the wrong spells early on... Or if I pick the right spells, I'm either going to be underpowered or really overpowered. I don't really mind being really overpowered. It's more the risk of being underpowered. I kind of want to vie away from a monk because I just don't really like not wearing armour. I know the shapeshifter can't, but they spend most of the time as a werewolf anyway, so I'm not really too bothered. Um, what race can we be? I wonder if the subclasses of the elf no, so you can't be like a drow. Because that would be pretty cool. Um, what am I doing? Race. Ah, oh, decisions. Or oh, maybe we can just maybe we can just put that pure thief in there. And just go with the magic that we've got. Because I think this game, from what I've seen, it's probably less magic focused than, say, Baldur's Gate. What if I go with a thief that's good at backstabbing and can mess people up at range, as in, like, with, like, darts or something like that? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go for a male. I mean, I could use a, like a... I could make an assassin or something. I mean, this, this last character now, it feels like it's more of a, a bonus character, to be fair. So... Like, I'm not... I, I've got every bit of ground covered. Alright, maybe not immensely. Like, I could do with more with, you know, magically speaking. Although I do have a good array of spells now. I mean, I've got a bard in there as well. So he's going to be able to cast spells. Alright, maybe not super high level. Maybe we should just literally go for like a pure fighter. Like someone who can just really bring the pain. In fact, let's go for like a proper, a proper stoic fighter. So that's gonna be it's gonna be this guy, isn't it? Dwarf, class, fighter. In fact, we might even go on stoic. We might go. Yeah, barbarian. Well, that could be useful against mages, the barbarian. Bottom defender mage, defensive stance for the day. Gets when you still have one. 
use level 4, additional use of four levels, da da da. Tony gets 50% resistance to all forms of physical damage, plus 2 bonus to saving throws, and 50% movement rate penalty. Gains 5% resistance to crushing, slashing, piercing, and missile damage every 5 levels to a maximum of 20% at level 20. Race restricted to dwarf may not exceed high mastery in axes and warhammers. You know, because specialization in any other weapon. So yeah, we, it's kind of going to restrict us to axes and warhammers by the looks of it. Um, it's going to be like chaotic good, this guy. Loves it. Absolutely bloody loves it. But I guess it's going to be easy to make some stat line for him. Like, we know what we need. Oh, that's actually not a bad roll. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> That's the best we could have hoped for. That was really quick. Nice. So, I'm thinking Warhammer. Primarily, we want to go with Warhammer. Um, and we might use Axe later on. But since he's a Dwarven Defender, I think Sword and Shield style is going to be the way to go. Um, Specialised. Gets... It's all about mesh missile weapons, in it? It's not... Um, do you want to use an axe as well? Maybe we could just go like Warhammer and axe because, to be honest, the penalty for not being that specialized. Yeah, let's just go Warhammer and axe, and then we've got at least we've got some choices with him. I think, I think there's a, a good dwarf voice in here somewhere. Me beer in your yeah, that's the one. I'll be doing the lead. I'll be needing enough of this. Ugh, I, I, ready. I'm sure there's one. That's I'm here. Done. Easiest goblin pie. Right then. Watch me go. <clears throat> Not a problem. I. Is that all? Easiest goblin pie. <laughs> Easiest goblin pie. Uh. <laughs> the chef. <laughs> no, let's call him uh, Ramsey. No, let's call him. Gordon Gobble Pie Ah oh. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Uh what's the short way of saying Gordon? I don't think there is one, is there? Uh, what about Bob? Bob Gordon, got Bob Gobble Pie. Oh, I won't fit. Wait, wait. Pie Master. Okay, right, so we've got Stabby, Keldorn, Fern, Betty, Eddie, and Pie Master. All bases covered. Oh no, this is where it gets interesting. Normally I only play I always play on core rules. Um because I feel like anything less even on normal, uh enemies deal twenty five percent less damage. It's like no, we want the true D and D experience. Core rules. This setting is aimed at veteran players who are well versed in AD deep mechanics. Enemies deal full damage and deploy advanced combat tactics. Slightly stronger enemy types appear and enemy groups are more varied. Sorry I keep scratching my nose. My hair is really bad today. It keeps tickling. Now we're going to go hard. I've never gone hard before. So enemies do 50% more damage. Ooh. Yeah. Our tale begins here. 
in the quiet fishing village of Eastham, one of the so-called ten towns of Icewind Dale. The tiny community is hardly a town, but rather a collection of ramshackle huts crowded together upon the icy shores of Lac Dinashir. Lac Dinashir. Here, within a dimly lit tavern, a group of travelers sit huddled around a table, swapping tales and making grand plans for the future, completely unaware of the part they are to play in the events that are about to unfold. What's this? New face in town, eh? Well met, stranger. The name is Rothgar, originally of Hillsfar. But now, after years of traveling up, down, and under Faerun, I am content to call this town my home. Who might you be? Yeah, don't get too, uh, too um, attached to Hrothgar. I'll, I'll say that much. <laughs> uh, greetings, Hrothgar. My name is Stabby. <laughs> well then, welcome to East Haven. Whatever your business in these parts might be, I would offer you this small piece of advice. While you're in my town, you do well to be on your best behavior. These folk are under my protection, and anyone who would seek to do harm to them in any way shall answer to me. That said, I'll let you get back to your cups. I'm sure you've had a long journey, and you'll find there's no better way to shake off the cold of the road than by downing a few mugs of Grisella's best. Mm, nice. And if you're in need of lodging, I would recommend talking to Quimby over the snow drifting on the east side of town. Equipment and supplies can be purchased next door at Pomob's Emporium. Uh, Pomob's prices are a bit high, even for a Kalashite. But you'd be better off well equipped and short of coin than the other way around. Ill-prepared travelers don't last long in these parts. Once you've had a chance to rest up and get your bearings, come by and see me at my house. It's just a couple doors west of here. There's some business I would discuss with you. Farewell. Yeah, so as I play this, I'm going to be reading out a lot of the text boxes and stuff. I can't guarantee I'll be doing like decent voices or anything like that. Me? Yes. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out the controls now. Okay, so how do you see me? Maybe I can't zoom out in this area. What now? I don't think I can. Hey. Right. Oh, I didn't know I was a I was a redhead. But well, okay, fair enough. We can change that later. Uh, let's. In fact, let's. There's a quest in the basement here where you can kill like some beetles or something. So at least we'll see our first little taste of combat before like I, I end the video. Um, yeah. How do you zoom out? Jeez. Oh, that's it. It's D pad. Right. In a way. The controls seem fiddly at first, but they're actually alright when you get used to them. It actually plays pretty well. Um, and I do like I do like this method of movement with the pad. That's actually better, I would argue. Now that's how it is. Okay. So, first of all, upstairs... So that's how if I remember it right, there's, there's just some crap I can loot in here that's worth a little so bit of money. That's how it is. Uh, so, healing potion. Oh! Sleep! She'll take that. I should say I think I've already got reflective image, but I've not got chromatic orb. Um Alright. High quality dagger. You can say that. So already we're we're flying. So Let's see if we can learn this spell. Well, she already knows that one. Yeah. She doesn't know that. No, she knows that. Oh, please learn this. Oh, she knows it already. Oh, in that case, let's give it to the bard. Hopefully he learns it. Oh, that's what you get for intelligence 14. Damn. Oh, well, not ideal. What now? Good as gone. I'm not reloading for that, though. Who, who has her highest charisma now? I can't remember. Um, is it him? Oh, she's pretty high as well. Okay. What can I help? Let's try with her. I'll take care of it. Uh, what is this? More barbarians come to my shop? No doubt, with nothing to barter but more wolf pelts and polished stones. Very well. Let us get this over with. What do you want? Barbarians, I think you're mistaken, friend. Am I now? I do not think so. All of you northerners are the same to me. Smelly and barbaric. Keep pushing it. I'll show you just how barbaric I can be. 
How dare you speak to me in such a manner? Do you know who I am? Yes, you're a pompous little man who runs a little shop in a, <laughs> in a little town at the arse of end of fair room. I am Parab Akazuma here, a royal diplomat envoy of Kalisham and appointed overseer of the northern caravan routes. Sure, and I'm the king of uh, Mithril. Ha ha! Mithril Hall, ha! Sorry, I'm reading off a really small screen here. <laughs> your poor attempt at sarcasm is an obvious sign of your lowly birth. I'll have you know that I am third cousin to the Pasha himself, not to mention a royal courtier in good standing. If you're such good standing in Kalishan, then what in the nine hells are you doing all the way up here in Icewind Dale? The Pasha uh, asked me to accept this post of overseer of the northern caravan routes as a personal favour. I see, likely this post is not but a convenient excuse for the Pasha to get rid of a royal pain in his arse. I would not expect someone of your station to understand such matters. Now, if you do not mind, buy something or leave. Fine, what jump for sale? No bed. Um, right, so we're going to want studded leather. Let's buy our armors first, let's keep it simple. Um, split mail. Um, she can't wear armor, if I remember right. Oh, she can't wear a helmet though. Let's buy the helmets as well. Quite like this spiky one. So we'll go with that. She can wear armor. But she can't cast her mage spells with it, can she? So we'll avoid that for now, I think. We'll just try and not get shot in the face. But um, she can have a small shield. I think she's proficient with quarter staff. She doesn't need a shield. Let's just buy a buckle just in case. Because I've got one of each, but hell. Um, he's going to need a large shield. Uh, let's give him a buckler just in case. Let's get a warhammer. Is that one handed or two handed? One handed. Speed factor four. He is just as good of an axe though, isn't he? Oh wow, it's a lot slower. Let's just get him a warhammer for now then. I don't think it's long till we'll be fighting on dead anyway. He's quite strong, so his strength bonuses will do the trick. Uh, he needs. Split mail. Um, and that's it for armor, didn't I? I started buying weapons half and through. Was this guy good of a short ball? I think it was a short ball, wasn't it? I hope I'm right in this. Uh, yeah. So we just need some arrows now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should be enough. Um, what did we give her? Did we give her a sling? I can't actually remember. Yeah, I can't remember what weapons. This guy was longsword and uh, he was longsword and bastard sword, wasn't he? He was short sword all the way to the bank. Um, let me just double check what weapons. Quarter staff. She's darts. Warhammer and sling. Warhammer and sling, quarter staff and darts. Warhammer and sling, quarter staff and darts. We've got the quarter staff, so we just need darts. Uh, Warhammer and sling. I don't think we have any Warhammers left. I think I just bought the only one. Oh no. All right. Um, we need a sling. Luckily, all my weapons are like dirt cheap. <laughs> um, we'll take that because we need that for a quest later on. Um, and who's going to store all my shite is the question. I'm going to say this guy because he can carry the most weight. Um. Then again, maybe I'll move that stuff over to a Cavalier, just purely because if he's got all the resistances to charm and everything, if people get charmed, at least I'll still have access to, you know, use the guy with the best saves, and I think he should have the best saves with being a paladin. Um, 
Yeah. So let's let's equip ourselves now. This is the fun part. I, I really like buying the equipment right at the beginning. I, I find it very very therapeutic. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm really powering myself up, you know. Even though I'm, I'm not, I'm just making use of the, my basic stat line. But, um, oh, Morning Star and Flail, he's good with them as well. So that's yeah, I, I don't care, I spoke with that wrong person there, but. Um, let's just let's give him two Flails, because that'll, that'll be sick when he's fighting the undead. Um, yeah. Okay. Give him a helmet. And we'll give him that. And let's put the healing potion in his Oh. Oh no. Cut the staff. Can't see enough all today. Show my eyesight is getting worse. Um so we're gonna put Bastard Sword in his main hand, long sword in his off hand, um helmet. Split mail. Um, that's it. Yeah. So what's his facor? D D D D D D D D D. Base facor twenty. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> My character's are terrible. Um. Oh. What? Didn't I buy? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She can use the quarter staff, that's why. Uh, helmet to protect from criticals. Brilliant. Um, I'm going to have the Warhammer equipped by standard, and then sling is a second weapon. Stick some ammo in there. I need to sell some of these items as well actually that's a good point uh, oh she can't wear armor can she well she can but it'll stop the casting um, okay brilliant um, there we go oh I didn't buy him a helmet well, that kind of sucks. He should have the best armor cost out of everyone now. Yeah, he does. If well, he does buy a bloody mile. Um, he just doesn't have a helmet. He should have the best faco as well. Strength modification minus two, proficiency is minus one, warhammer, da da da, proficiency is plus two, strength plus four. Oh, base faco. Oh, he's back. Faco 17, it's there at the side. So 12. 14, 20, 18, 17. Why is this back 17? He's proficient with a Warhammer. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, Warhammer plus plus. Back 17. Faco 19, okay, no, maybe I was reading that wrong then. He's actually got the best Faco, which makes sense. Um, yeah, we didn't buy him a helmet, did we? We need to do that. And we need to sell some of this junk. I'll we'll sell that, we don't need that. Oh, to be fair, the bard could have learned it, but no, <laughs> never mind. Oh, well, these things happen. Uh, let's buy that helmet. I keep saying I'm going to do it, but I'm not, I've not done it. Oh, he's, he's sorry, mate. You're gonna have to go with a different helmet here. You're gonna have to go with a less fashionable one. Oh well. Uh, where are you? Me. Oh, that's not bad. It's like kind of Roman legionnaire style. That's actually pretty cool. Um, we need to change our party order as well. So I'm thinking. I usually put high charisma at the front, so let's put it is Thief, Thief Fighter can be near the front, but this guy also needs to be very near the front. 
No, you, you don't need to be there. This guy should be here. She's pretty fighty. He's got low health. She's got low health. So definitely back back line is there. She's definitely she's all the way back. Um, yeah, he's pretty weak as well. To be fair. In fact, I might even put her over him. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah. Name your task. Let's use her first ability. Pow! That's fun. Running around as a werewolf. I am ready. Agreed. Okay. A reasonable request. Look at us now. We're ready to go. And there's a good variation of weapons in the party. You know, I think that's that's important. Agreed. Hello there, dearie. Welcome to the Winter's Cradle Tavern. My name's Grisella. I own and operate this fine establishment. What can I get for ye? How about a drink? A drink? Of course, dearie. After all, this is a tavern. Plenty to drink here. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, well, uh, you see, I'm a bit of a in a bind. I'm a bit of a bind right now. i right have just run out of everything. I've nothing to offer you in the way of drink at the moment. You've run out of everything? Well, the tavern hasn't run completely dry. I do have some stock down in the cellar, but... Uh, well... But, well, let's go with this one. But what? This is rather embarrassing, but I'm having somewhat of a pest problem down in that dirty old cellar, and I'm afraid to go down there. I do so hate bugs. I, I, just the thought of those nasty creepies and crawlies send shivers down my spine. Okay. Um, is there anything I can do to help? That's awfully sweet of you, dearie, but I don't expect you to go to any trouble on my account. I'm sure I'll think of something. Have no fear, madam. I shall see to it that the pest down below will trouble you no further. Wonderful! The stairs to the cellar are in the back room. Now, you be careful down there, dearie, and don't let any of those little buggers creep back up here, all right? Um, how do we save the game? Save game. These are all my old saves. Wow. That was my another party I had. Which kind of looks sort of similar. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, it looks like it was in the Veil of Shadows. Um, right, I'm saving it because, you know, we could die here. <laughs> okay, so I think I've got auto pause on. And nice, when you go into combat, you do actually get the cursor, which is very useful. So, Something amiss? you kill him. Ready. You kill him. What you kill him. Should have hidden shadows before I came down, but whatever. You kill him. Um, you just don't do anything. <laughs> All right. My sword is yours. Uh, and you sing. Nice. Look at that. Ten slashing damage. Can I help? Instant. So what I have noticed, like early on, the shapeshifters are quite like OP. Have the loot is mine. They just destroy stuff. I'm here. Pie Master got himself his first key. Key? Kill? Nice! Look at that! Quickly now. That party performed. Agreed. Oh, was there anything I could loot down there? I shall do my I didn't even check. That's just all question mark stuff, isn't it? Agreed. Agreed. Any luck getting rid of those nasty bugs, dearie? My customers are getting pretty thirsty. It's done. Those bugs won't be troubling you anymore. Thank you, dearie. You're a lifesaver. Just do me uh, one more favour. <laughs> Keep this little bug problem between you and me. I don't want folks thinking Grisala's place isn't clean. Run along now. I mean, that's pretty decent. 1,200 experience. Considering all I did was kill some incredibly easy bugs. I didn't even get hit. And there we have it. That's it. That's that's the first video of hopefully many. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And if, if you liked it, hit like, subscribe, comment, um, you know, what you think I could do better or worse. And if I've got the tools and resources to do it, I'll try. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, um, see you again next time. Bye.